Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about some simple ways to improve your hair growth. Now, some of this might be already known to you, but there are some people out there that have no idea of simple things that you can do to help your hair grow. Number one, stop using heat. When I say heat, I mean blow drying your hair, even diffusing it with heat, that's heat on your hair, and also flat irons, curling irons, wands, all of those things. The worst ones are the ones that directly touch your hair like this. So that's number one. If you stop using heat, and you do the other things that I'll mention in this video, your hair's length will be maintained because your hair is probably growing as it's supposed to, but because you're using heat, it's causing your hair to weaken and break off. The more you use heat, the more you'll get split ends and have to cut your hair more often, as well as breakage because of the heat. The heat is burning our hair. If you do use heat, make sure you use the heat protectant and make sure you deep condition your hair, which is my number two. Make sure you deep condition your hair every time you wash it if you can. So every time a shampoo, sulfate free or sulfate touches your hair, make sure you deep condition. I would say when you co-wash, you should deep condition as well, but make sure it's done when you shampoo. Now what I do, I shampoo, condition, so I use whatever conditioner goes with that shampoo or whatever conditioner I want to use with the shampoo, and then I deep condition. Depending on how tangled my hair is, I won't deep condition in the shower. I'll wait until I'm done, so I'll wash shampoo, condition, and then I'll deep condition after the shower and put it under some heat and then detangle my hair. I find that I lose less hair when I detangle after the deep conditioner sits in my hair and kind of softens it. This might not work with every deep conditioner because not all deep conditioners and masks are created equally. So make sure it's a deep conditioner that your hair likes. You leave it in, you can add heat if that helps with your hair. And that's good heat because you're adding heat like a steamer or a soft hooded dryer. I'll link some below and I'll put some pictures so you can see what I'm talking about. That will make the deep conditioner penetrate into your hair. So don't forget to deep condition. It sounds like it's not important, but it's very, very important. So make sure you do that. And if you don't deep condition every time because it just tends to be too much for you, try to do it every other time. Just do it as much as you can and you can switch up the different kinds of deep conditioners that you use. Number three, this is very important as well. And these are all very important because if you put them together, your hair will flourish. Believe me, it really will. So number three is to protect your hair at night and whenever you can. Some ways to do that is to sleep with a bonnet or some kind of cap that is not cotton. This is a Grace Ile. I'm not sure how you say it, I'll type it down. This is a sleeping cap. So in the inside, it is satin. It's satin, it's soft, it will not dry out your hair. You don't wanna sleep on a cotton pillowcase either because that will dry out your hair. I have satin pillowcases, which are very reasonably priced, and I have silk pillowcases. So this right here is a silk pillowcase. Silk will cost you more money than satin. So go for the satin. You can get them on Amazon. I'll list some of the ones that I have below as well as this silk one. While we're talking about materials that you're using on your hair, we're gonna talk about, so this is the satin bonnet. It's satin, it's not silk. So satin is a synthetic material, silk is natural. That's why silk costs more. This is also a silk scarf that I have. One more thing that doesn't have to do with sleeping, but it's very important, 
is the way you're drying your hair. So after you wash it, you're supposed to dry it with a microfiber towel or if mine are all dirty or I just can't find them or I'm gonna use more, I'm gonna dry my hair more than once because of deep conditioning and so on, I use a microfiber towel. Microfiber towels are better because they won't pull the hair and dry it out as much as a regular towel that you use after you shower. So this is a huge one that I got from a YouTuber and she has a store. I will also list the name, but this is great. I use it, um, I can put it around. You've probably seen in some of my videos, I have a pink one, this is the purple one, and I have a blue one. It's great, it's better for your hair. And like I said, if you can't afford a microfiber towel right now or you just don't want to get one, use a t-shirt. So again, do not sleep on a cotton pillowcase. If you only have cotton pillowcases now or that's all you can afford, if you can't afford to buy a satin or silk one right now, go for the bonnet. These don't cost more than $10. You can get this bonnet, like I said, I'll list that below and any other bonnets that I've used. That's a big, big thing because you're sleeping at night and the friction and the satin, the satin pillowcases will help not dry out your hair. So what I do, I put my hair, you can do it right now, I put my hair in a pineapple. So I literally take all my hair, put it at the top of my head and I either leave it hanging like this or I just put it looking crazy, doesn't matter, and I put this right over it. And this will protect you. I'm not doing it neat right now, but this will protect you. So I am, I'm still on this. As you can see, I even have on my arm a, let's just fix this here. I have satin scrunchies. So I don't use regular scrunchies in my hair, satin only. If I'm putting my hair in a bun, I will use a thick headband, but that's it, satin. I even have smaller ones, satin. But these also I will link down below. Stay away from the cotton and the, the kind of materials that you're putting in your hair that dry it out. Number four, and this goes along with the using the satin and everything. Keep your hair moisturized. If it feels dry, try to refresh it, or if you can, do your whole wash day over. Because the worst thing is, for me, when, my, when I know that my wash and go, I'm making it last a little too long, my ends will get dry. When your ends are dry, you will get single strand knots, and that's not cute. They're very annoying. Because your hair is dry, what it's doing is tangling together, and that usually happens at the ends of my hair, mostly in the back. So keep your hair moisturized, and if it feels dry, you can try to refresh it. Try different products that can refresh your hair and still make it look good, or just wash it over. And don't forget when you wash, to deep condition. Talking about dry ends, number five. Let's go of the ends that are no good. So if you have split ends, get them cut or trim them yourself. You can do the search and destroy method. Search and destroy is what I love to do. I literally look at every strand of my hair and if I see a split end, I'm cutting it above the split end. If I see a single, single strand knot, I'm cutting it above the single strand knot. This will help because split ends continue to split up and eventually it's gonna just keep going. You wanna cut it before it gets too high because that's more hair that you're going to lose. So we're trying to preserve our length. Okay, our hair is gonna keep growing, but all these things that I'm talking about are going to keep the hair we have in our head. So when it grows, you see the length. If we are growing our hair, but it continues to break off or split, or tangle up and then we gotta cut it or if we're, we're messing it up, we will never see the growth. So th those are my five ways to improve your hair growth. Now that's not improving it from the scalp, that's improving the growth that you're seeing 
because you're taking care of the hair. I'll give a bonus. So that'll be number six. Protect and style your hair if necessary. That can be a braid out, a twist out. It could be bantu knots if you're not going anywhere and you just want to walk around with those for a couple of days. All of that. I will link a video for each of the protective styles that I have on this channel so far. I will do more. I have some more in mind. I just got to do them. I always know a difference if I fall asleep either on a pillowcase that's not cotton or without my bonnet. I will wake up to get my bonnet. And even though I sleep with a satin pillowcase, I get my bonnet because I'm not the most calm sleeper. So my head might be off my pillow by morning. So it's better to just have my bonnet on my head. I hope that these little tips that I gave help you. I hope this helps someone. Please start today. Even if you have to start one and add on another each day, please start. I think the easiest one would be to sleep with something that is not cotton on your head. So try to get a bonnet, try to get a pillowcase. Like I said, I'll link them below. They are, it makes a big difference. You'll notice it. Your hair will be less dry and you will grow out your hair if you want to. So thanks for watching. If you would like to hear more tips from me about hair, and please let me know down below what steps that I what tips that I gave today that you already do and which ones you'll start doing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, follow me on social media, and come back next time. Bye.